Now, if you're thinking about upgrading your hammock or getting a hammock for the very first time, there's a few things you should be researching or thinking about when you purchase one. And the first one is getting a hammock that fits you, the right length, width, and fabric for the right amount of stretch and weight limit. And the second one would be, what situation are you gonna use it for? Are you gonna take it and hang out at the park or a beach? Mostly use it for camping for one or multiple days. Then you may wanna be thinking about what conditions you may face, like biting mosquitoes in the early summer, or those pesky biting flies in late summer. Or you may be thinking about taking a winter camping. You may need a little extra protection to block that cold breeze or stiff wind coming at you. Now in this episode of Review, we're gonna look at a hammock that can do all of the above. Now there's a few that can do it, but all of those have copied this hammock and I believe this is one of the best, if not the best hammock to handle any situation or condition. And that hammock is a dream hammock sparrow. Like I said earlier, one of the most important things when researching a hammock is getting one that fits you. The problem today, which makes things so confusing, is that most companies only make one size hammock, and that is small. The length is gonna to be too short or the width is gonna to be too narrow for most people. It would be like a clothing company making small size only. I hate to say it, but the market is flooded with these companies. And the reason why is because they make inexpensive hammocks. And the old saying is so true, you get what you pay for. But at Dream Hammock, they not only make hammocks that fit you in the right length and width, but also they give you multiple choices of fabrics to give you the right amount of stretch that will conform around your body to give you the best night's sleep, leaving no pressure points. So you wake up in the morning and you're rejuvenated. Let alone will they make a hammock fit you like a tailor shop, but they also will customize to whatever you would like. Their craftsmanship is superb and their customer service is excellent. Now you guys, I'm not affiliated with this company or am I being paid. I'm just sharing with you a great hammock company. Now if you're not sure what size or fabric to get, I did two episodes recently. One is called the perfect hammock for the size that you would need. And the other one is hammock fabrics, of course, that would show you the different fabrics and the right amount of stretch and weight limit. And if you have any other questions, Randy or Deanna at Dream Hammock would be more than happy to answer them for you. Now one of my favorite things about the Dream Hammock Sparrow, which makes it a great all-around hammock, is that it's convertible. You can convert this hammock into different styles to handle any situation or conditions. Now, I have it in the open style, which is my favorite, which provides the best ventilation, the best view. And a lot of people don't know this, when you have a bug net on there, that bug net will block about 80% of the nice breeze from coming in. And I don't know how many times I've been hammock camping and it's been hot, humid, and buggy. And I wish I had that bug net off because I could get this nice tasty breeze to cool me off. But on the flip side, having that bug net on will also retain heat, which could be a benefit in some situations or conditions. Now I know a lot of people feel that a bug net or top cover will give them a sense of security. But really you guys, it's a false sense of security. I highly recommend, whenever you can, try to use this hammock in the open style. Next, you could convert the Sparrow into a jungle or camping hammock by zipping the bug net on. First, take the bug net out of the mesh storage bag and throw it over the ridge line. Fold up the overhanging fabric to expose the ends of the zippers. Then attach the end of the bug net to the zipper and zip downward. Then attach the end of the hammock to the other zipper on the bug net and zip downward. And fold the fabric back over the zippered end. Then do the same to the other side.
with a bug net or overcover attached to the sparrow. They'll provide two doors or openings on either side of the hammock. With the two zippered doors, you can get in and out on either side. Now the Dream Hammock Sparrow has zippers that are set in one position. And you can slide the zipper up or over here to create an opening. It's set right here to open and close. And I didn't think I was going to like that, but I just came back from car camping up in northern Minnesota using my hammock, which was the War Bonnet Ridge Runner. In the middle of the night when I had to go to the bathroom, I had to search to find out where I left those two zippers to get out to create an opening. And that became a pain. I'd wake up saying, darn, where did I leave? And I wasn't using the word darn. Where did I leave those two zippers? Because I had to go to the bathroom bad. So with this being in a set position, I really think I'm gonna like it because I will always know, and you will always know where that door opening is. So if you have to make a quick call, bam, it's right there. Now the bug net that I have is a 0.9 ounce no seam mesh in black. If you like to upgrade, you can get it in other fabrics with multiple colors available. Let alone will it provide two doors for each side, but it's great for those who use an underquilt, especially a three quarter length underquilt, which I use. Now let me explain. When you get in and out of the hammock, for whatever reason, say you're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, when you get out and get back in, the underquilt will shift around, which will leave your feet hanging over the three-quarter length underquilt, providing no protection. Because now that your feet are not over the underquilt, which would provide warmth, now they'll end up getting cold. And it makes it hard to adjust if you don't have a door on the foot end. But now with the double openings or doors, I can open the side of my foot end, pull the shock cord over my feet. Zip the door closed. Then unzip the other side at my shoulder to adjust the underquilt perfectly over my shoulder for the maximum warmth. Then zip it back up. Now the next way to convert this dream hammock sparrow is into a winter hammock for those cold and freezing temperatures and when the wind is very stiff and blowing hard. A winter hammock is basically a hammock with a top or over cover that will give you the best protection from the cold wind and will trap a little bit of warmth inside from your body heat. But unfortunately on those cold nights, also condensation. first winter cover had no vents for ventilation. Now you see them being made with mesh vents on the tip of the head or foot end. For a small upgrade, I had them put a side vent on, which makes it a world of difference. Now I had this top cover with the optional side vent on my last trip, and I was really surprised with the vision or the view that I had when I was looking out. And here are my thoughts on that trip. Now with this top cover, there's a screen that runs up where your head is, and you can see out of this. It's really nice. It was really cool watching the sunrise because the lake is right here. I got this beautiful view, woke up, watched the sunrise. Then I seen Runner come down here, enjoying the sunrise from my little perch here. The rest of it will block the wind.
and also for gazing at the stars. Now one thing you need to know, this over cover is not a rain cover. It will soak up water and you will get wet. You still will need a tarp over you on those rainy days. But during the winter time, if it's a dry snow, you could put this up and it'll shed that dry snow and block the wind and still retain a little bit of that heat. Now with the Dream Hammock Sparrow, you either get the bug net or the top cover, but for 40 American dollars, you can get them both. But if you can't afford it right now, you can get one and order the other later. Other upgrades I suggest, if you're gonna use an underquilt, especially a full length underquilt, you should get these underquilt hooks and this will help keep the underquilt underneath these hooks will hold it in the proper place. And will help it from shifting on you when you get in it and out. Another upgrade are these tie out hooks that pull the bug net away from your face and feet. to give you a more spacious room inside. If you're gonna use a partial or three quarter length under quilt, leave the foot end tie out undone. Otherwise it will make it hard to adjust the foot end on a three quarter length under quilt. I don't use them all the time, but they're great to have when needed. And one more upgrade that I got, is more of a convenience than a necessity, is this peak shelf. You can slide it up it's great to store clothing. That you can just reach up and grab during the middle of the night when you start to get cold. And it's also great for storing other gear. Now there's a few things I'd like to share with you. The Sparrow as an open hammock is cut symmetrically. It runs straight up and down. Now most companies when you buy a hammock that has an integrated bug net or a top cover, it is made symmetrically straight up and down. But at Dream Hammock, they give you the option not only to have it symmetrical, the top cover or the bug net, but also to have it cut asymmetrical, which I highly recommend. So it'll give you and help you achieve a flat lie. Not only will the asymmetrical cut be more comfortable, which is the most important reason, but it also gives you a better view and better ventilation. So when you go to order a Sparrow or any other hammock, you have to let them know are you a right lay or a left lay. And for those who are starting out and do not know, a right lay is your head to the left and your feet to the right, and a left lay is your head to the right and your feet to the left. So if you're not sure and you're starting out and you don't know if you're a left lay or a right lay, get into a hammock and put your head to the left and your feet to the right, which is a right lay, and then switch it to your head to the right and your feet to the left, which is a left lay and you figure out which one is more comfortable and that is what you are. And if you don't have that ability to get a hammock and to try this out and, or you wanna order one quickly, most people are right lay. And again, you can get this in different fabrics for your weight rating or different colors for your liking. If you get a top cover, you can also mix and match. And you can get this in a double layer. If you need a little bit more weight rating or if you like to use a foam mat, you can put it in between the two layers and it won't shift around on you as much. Now for those that are not aware of this, let alone as a hammock, great for sleeping, but also for lounging back, kicking back and just checking out the view. And also one of my favorite features is you fold the fabric over and it gives you a nice flat seat. Very comfortable for cooking or just sitting back and looking around. Another thing I really like about the Dream Hammock Sparrow is having both the top cover and the bug net in those little mesh bags on the end. The over cover and the bug net is stored on each end of the hammock, which has a piece of cordage formed into a loop. On the end of the mesh bag is a mitten hook. You take the mitten hook and snap it on the loop. This will hold your bug net or over cover or both in place and out of the way. When I come into a situation like I did when I was in the Boundary Waters, I started off with the temperatures in the 80s. So I had an open hammock and that worked out really well. Then the bugs came out, I took out the bug net and I put that on there. And then after two days later, the temperatures dropped and I took the bug net off 
and I was hanging out in an open hammock again. And during the nighttime, I put that top cover on, the over cover, and that worked really well and it kept me warm. So it's really nice to have that option, that convertibility. I know if you're an ultralight hiker, you're not going to bring both with, but if you can, if you can bring both and you come into any situations where you can have this open hammock, you know, sitting by a beach or, or this great view with this nice ventilation when it's hot. And when the bugs come out, you put that bug netting on there. But when the temperatures drop or you need a little bit of privacy, you can put that overcover on and that will give you great protection and also security. Like I said earlier, it's a false sense of security, but if it gives you security, this would work well. Now my final thoughts on the Stream Hammock Sparrow. It is very comfortable. I had some great nights sleeping out on my last trip in this hammock. And I love how you can customize this hammock to fit you with the different fabrics to give you the right amount of stretch. And also the color combinations that you can come with and the different accents. But the best of all is its convertibility to handle any situations or any conditions. This is probably one of the best hammocks out there right now, if not the best. Now the price of the Dream Hammock Sparrow with either the top cover or the bug net is 185 American dollars. And they do ship overseas. And of course with the different options, the price is gonna go up. And to some, it is could be a little expensive, but it's comparable to a four season tent, and this being a four season hammock, but it's by far much more comfortable and versatile. I look at it this way, you guys. It's really a good investment, and it's an investment that will last for years. And it also comes with a double-end stuff sack and an Amsteel ridge line.